Hey guys, let me get down to the core problem of Magic the Gathering today is that different people are treated differently based on their gender, based on their perhaps race, based on their identification. And yeah, so this is a guy and his defense against me saying that this is a very, very common deck. This is a very, very common thing to do, to have experimental frenzy out there and to want to cast light up the stage and not be able to. The board state is very, very bad. It is not clean. And even if this was an honest mistake, which I don't believe it was, I believe it was a cheat, even if it was an honest mistake, there should be some punishment. So I'm going to take the example of taxes in the U.S. Let's say that you honestly did not do your taxes correctly. You made a mistake, 100% honest mistake. Do you think the government is not going to ask you for money back with interest? You're like, oh, well, Erin made an honest mistake on her taxes. Of course you don't need to pay us back. It was an honest mistake. Blank me. Think about that for a moment. Or if you stole something from a super supermarket and you got caught and you said, oh, I didn't know that dropped into my pocket. It was an honest mistake. Even if you could prove it was an honest mistake, you're still not allowed to take the item that dropped into your pocket. Where else, in what country, in what realm, in what historical period is it okay to make an honest mistake that benefits you and not have any consequences? Yes, maybe it was a 100% honest mistake, but my gosh, that store owner is going to cut off your hands in some countries. My point is that when you make a logical argument with reason and facts and information, you will get the average response of, you're Trump. I get that a lot from the people, you know, the people who don't like me. I'm not going to tell you who they are, but it's pretty obvious. They call me Trump. You sound a lot like Trump. You're a Donald Trump. You're a Donald Trump. And there is no defense to it. There is no defense at all. Except you sound like Trump. And I get it. I 100% get it. Because they want to put you in a box. Which, hmm, that's kind of interesting, right? Stereotypes. My point being, this is a big deal. If Aaron does not get banned... This is a huge deal because it is a mission that people are treated differently based on their gender identification. They, Wizard of Coast and Star City Games could be sued into oblivion because of this for discrimination. Some would call it reverse discrimination, but I would say it's interesting. Tell me... So the situation is the judges were notified on the spot. They talked to each other and they continued to let Aaron play without any punishment. Even if you make an honest mistake in your benefit, it should be a game loss. Maybe not a match loss, so Aaron's up one game. So they maybe play a next game to determine who's the winner. I think that's more than fair. I know time went, time expired, so the win would actually go to Aaron's opponent, knocking Aaron out of the top eight. Let me put it in simple terms. I cover a lot of cheaters, from the Mike Longs to the David Williams to the Mark Justices. None of them were allowed to come back from a, quote, honest mistake, even Mike Long versus Mark Justice when they both were cheating and they knocked each other's dice around and, and a hilarious comedy ensued. 
Mike Long had to go. They caught Mike Long and they kicked him out of the convention. There was another time it was either Mike Long or, sorry, they kicked Mark Justice out of the convention. There was another time Mike Long was caught with too many muscle slivers, which is a very good card in Motorball. He had five of them, and one of them had a different, so if you understand Tempest back then, some of it was dark ink, some of it was light ink. The muscle slivers he was drafting was all light ink, and then he had bought one from a vendor. They kicked him out, and then he threw his deck in the trash can and then ripped them. And then they tried to find evidence that, yes, indeed, it was a different colored muscle sliver which it was. I have never seen a circumstance where somebody gets caught for, quote, an honest mistake and is allowed to continue and then goes on and wins the event and then is so proud and so smug about it. And all the white knights come. It's almost like, what was it? Lord of the Rings, the second movie where all the white knights and Gandalf is like, yeah, we're here. To save the day from all the ugly trolls and stuff. But in reverse. It's like all the trolls came down. And started attacking my channel and stuff. My point is very simple. Super duper simple. Give me one other case. When someone gets caught cheating. The judges are notified. That person wins the tournament. Give me one other case. In any sports where that happens. Where someone gets caught. With a quote beneficial mistake like Lance Armstrong I guess you know taking drugs was a beneficial mistake or this doesn't happen and that's why Magic the Gathering is a joke right now competitive Magic the Gathering is a joke this isn't the oh I'm going to keep my mouth shut because I do know some really I have not confirmed that they're true so they're baseless speculation but it's fascinating how some people get so much, so many advantages given to them based on their identification, how they identify. And other people, I will call one right now, Sam Black, when's the last time you've heard of him? He dedicated his whole life to magic. He's one of the best deck innovators of ever. And yet, where is he today? Like, what happened to Stan Black? It's very sad. So, when people say, oh, didn't you, you probably made a sloppy play one time too at FNM. The issue here is there's real money involved, and that's a legal issue. You're winning a tournament, that's a legal issue. There's reputation involved. Another very interesting, more of a social media issue, but yes. If you cheat or if you do something, I think we should forget the whole concept of cheating. I think we have a new concept. Did you do something that benefited you that was incorrect? Right? I don't care about your intent. I don't care about what you felt or how you emotionally livid you were at the time. I just want to know, did you do something that benefited you that was incorrect? And in this case, the answer would be yes. Therefore, there should be some type of punishment, right? So let's say that you go to a grocery store, you accidentally forgot, you you know, you bought some water on your grocery cart, you put it in a bottom cart and you forgot to check it out. Right? Like you stole water basically, but you made an honest mistake because you forgot about it. Now you're in a parking lot and you realize, uh oh, I didn't check out the water. I think it is an ethical duty and a society duty to go back to that Walmart and pay or wherever you're going, grocery store, and pay for the water. Because at that t- point, you realized you were wrong. Before you left the parking lot to go home, you realized you were wrong. Here, you haven't even left the Walmart yet. You're still in a blanking Walmart. You're still in a tournament. It's happening. And you're bragging about how you're the top seed. With a red deck wins. That's a huge advantage, guys. That's a huge advantage. So again, not to flop a dead fist or beat a dead horse. Tell me one at a time in sports, in magic, in chess, 
where someone made an honest mistake that was caught in video that was streamed to many, I, I don't know how big the stream is, 100 people, they were notified from the stream to the judges and the judges decided to let that person continue and that person eventually won the, the tournament or the game or the championship. So in the NFL, sometimes judges make a mistake or sometimes a referee makes a mistake. They don't catch a penalty or a player gets away with something or maybe they get penalized when they shouldn't be penalized. That's a huge deal. That's a huge deal. Like a foul in the NBA where it was fouled and it wasn't a foul. Maybe there was a foul and it wasn't called. After important games, they have a press conference about it and the the referees and the commu- the committee of judges or whatever, they talk about that in an honest way to say, hey, we made a mistake. That was on me. In Star City Games, you have Todd Anderson defending her. You have the judges defending her. You have everyone defending her. Even in the actual videos, if you watch them, no one mentions that she was being suspected of cheating. They only said that, oh, we're being delayed because of who knows why we're being delayed. Clearly, they know why they're being delayed. They're being delayed because they're looking at the footage to see what happened. So many of you will say, oh, maybe they didn't catch it in real time. They were looking at the stream footage and they decided nothing. Tell me another time where that's happened, where then even today, when everyone knows it's a cheat. I mean, in one of these things, it's like her family friend is saying, oh yeah, this is a cheat. Her family blanking friend is saying that. And you telling me that she made a mistake, right? Regardless, here's my point. If I, you, on Sleeve Media, possibly even Christine Sprankles, I don't know. If we were caught cheating here, we would be crucified. We would not be able to show our face to magic for a long time. We would be banned, maybe for life. But here, there was no punishment. They just allow her to win the tournament with the prizes and the, the I assume that there's money involved. Are you kidding me? Like, guys, are you effing kidding me? Name me one at a time in the history of sports where somebody got caught with a benefit. I'm not even going to say cheating, just a benefit. The judges looked at the benefit and said, oh, that is a benefit. Oh, yeah, that did benefit that person. Yeah, I can see what she's doing. I can see what he or she is doing. Oh, cool, cool. And they were not, I'm not asking banned. I'm asking allowed to continue and then eventually wins the tournament. Again, allowed to continue after they were caught with a benefit they were not supposed to have and they win the tournament. It's crazy. But that's the Magic the Gathering we currently have. You cannot beat some of these players because even if you play better than them, even if you draw better than them, even if you are a better Magic player, you will never beat Aaron. I guarantee it to you. It reminds me of Saito. A lot of you have no idea my personal vendetta against Saito. I know Saito very well because that's when I played Magic. I've been playing Magic since beta and I've heard of Saito and his trend where, and it was very clever. Cheaters are incredibly clever. You, they cheat because they can get away with it. So if somebody claims that hey, I am so-and-so and I'm special like this and they cheat. Oh, well, I didn't cheat. I just made a mistake. Then the majority of Magic players would be like, yeah, that was a mistake. But if you or I cheat, my goodness. like Saito came up with the most clever cheat at the time. He would blame his opponent for cheating. He would ask his opponent. He would shuffle his deck for no reason, give it to his opponent, once the opponent has received the deck, they're going to want to cut it because they don't know better. So they cut the deck. And then Saito, with the deck in his opponent's hand, calls a judge over and then claims that the opponent stole the deck and was cutting it for no reason. 
this cheat, especially in Japan, embarrassed a lot of players who were innocent. And that built Saito's reputation. That was his engine that made him one of the most famous, if not the most famous, Japanese magic player in history. How did he get away with it? How did he get away with it? The same way Aaron's going to get away with this. I'm the only one to put a hard stop to this. I say, hey, if you're blue, you're green, you're white, you're black, you're Asian, you're Hispanic, it doesn't matter. We should be held to the same standard. The standard is not very, it's not like unknown. The standard has been in magic for the history of magic. That if someone has committed a benefit that has advantaged themselves incorrectly, it's a game loss. That has been the standard. It's at least a game loss. Some people have been game mats. Some people have been knocked out of and not even allowed to come back like Mark Justice. If they find that some... Even look at the most recent one. Watanabe. He had a very good reputation. That's why he's in the Hall of Fame. That's why he's an MPL member. That's why he was highly respected. The judges took their time. They talked to other judges. They made sure that there was multiple people watching the sleeve so we couldn't make the argument that they did it, that for some reason the judges did it. And then they kicked him out of that tournament. They didn't allow him to continue to play with Mark Sleeves. That would be insane. But yet, isn't that what Star City Games did? Bye.